Today we're going to talk about the average monthly cost of leasing a car. And what I want to show you is that this is an application of rational functions. So typically when you lease a car, you make a down payment and pay fixed monthly payments for the length of your lease. We don't often consider how the down payment contributes to the overall price we are paying for the lease. We can construct a cost function, C of X, to keep track of how much money we have spent on the lease after X months. Our function would look like C of X is the monthly payment times X, the number of months, plus the down payment. Let's take an example. Say we lease a car for $349 a month and pay a $5,000 down payment. The cost of the lease for X months would be C of X is 349 times X plus 5,000. The question is, are we really paying $349 a month? That's where average cost comes in. The average cost for X months is the total cost for X months divided by the number of months. We can write this as C bar of X is C of X over X. Let's use our example of C of X is 349X plus 5,000 to find the average cost for a few values of X. After the first month, we've paid a total of 349 times 1 plus 5,000, which is $5,349. When we divide the cost by the number of months, we just get $5,349. So let's increase that to 6 months. In 6 months, we've paid a total of 349 times 6 plus 5,000, which is $7,094. If we divide that amount by 6, we can see we've paid an average of $1,182.33. Let's make that even bigger and go to a year. So after 12 months, we've paid 349 times 12 plus our down payment of 5,000, which is a total of $9,188. Dividing that by 12 says we've paid on average $765.66 per year. Let's try that two more times. Let's look at 24 months which says we paid a total of $13,376, which is on average $557.33 a month. And in three years, which is 36 months, we would have paid a total of $17,564, which is $487.89 per month. So this initial payment, when we apply it over the length of the lease or how many payments we've made so far, we can see there is this big influence of the initial investment. Average cost is not limited to leases. You could use average cost in business to compare your total cost to the number of items made. This could help in determining the price you want to charge for the items. The great thing about average cost is that it shows you the need to incorporate the fixed cost into your overall analysis of the true cost for each item or payment. I hope that shows you how useful rational functions really can be. Good luck.